Hello and welcome to FTL. Yep, well, I, um, I saw some other people playing it online, specifically uh, the Winter Owl. Um, and it looked like fun. You know, it was um, only $10, so I figured I'd give it a go. Um, I've been through the... To the uh, bleh. I have been through the tutorial. Okay, there we go, I'm able to speak again. And the controls aren't complex, but I suspect this is the sort of game that has a bit of depth and, and exploration in it. So, um, basically you're a spaceship captain and you have to um, maneuver your way through battles and adventures and so on, trying to escape the fleet. It's, it's, um, it's in the vein of a roguelite, which means I believe that once you're dead, you're dead. You know, there are no, no, no reloading the game. And it's very dangerous, so I am likely to die a lot. Um, hopefully we'll pick up some skills and have a bit of fun on the way. So, um... Bumby dumby dum. I'm just going to check one thing in options. Hotkeys in dialog boxes. No delay, brief delay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there was something, um, when I mouse over stuff, information's popping up, and it was popping up a little too quick for my taste, but that doesn't appear to be an option to slow that down. So let's just go new game. Okay, um, we get to name our ship, whatever it, uh, whatever it is we like. Um, what do I want to call this? Hmm. Um, I'm going to go with the Liberator. Uh, there we go. Alright, ship. Oh, you can um, unlock different and better ships to start the game. So, layout. Type A, type B. Doesn't appear to be any options there. Available achievements. Complete two out of three to unlock a layout. Okay, uh, have six unique aliens on the Kestrel cruiser simultaneously. <laughs> That's the United Federation. Full arsenal. Have every system and subsystem installed. Tough little ship. Um, repair back to full health when it has uh, when it only has one hull point remaining. Okay, crew. Let's get our crew up. So obviously, there's Aeron. He's in charge. Can you change the appearances? Not much, but I'll go with the one with the green hair. Except... Oh, Notch! <laughs> um, I quite like the word Notch. I'll just make him look different. And... Uh, let's go with Minion. And he will also look different to me. Except, so I've got three crew. I don't think they start with any skills. And it look, looks like they're all human. No, except, no exceptional straits, and they all start off completely unskilled. I have a missile launcher, and a burst laser. Slightly improved version of the burst laser that fires more shots per charge. Uh, it's quite low damage, though. Okay, um, I'll, I won't go over this too much, but the things to watch out for on the interface are going to be stuff happening here, which is when I run people around my ship to do stuff. And I'll just go, uh, so that's shields, with the S, that's engines, that's life support, that's weapon power, that's the med bay, that's helm control, that's the sensors, and that's the door system. So I'm going to go with normal mode. Um, Increase scrapping easier enemies. Yeah, I'm going to go with normal mode, and let's say if I die really quickly five times in a row, <laughs> you know, over a number of episodes, then we'll switch to easy, because obviously it means that I'm no good at the game. Right. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip. Yeah, breaches if a if a room breaches um, if a room with a breach has no oxygen, try opening all the doors surrounding to it to make it less hazard less hazardous. Yeah, okay. So, um, I've got ten bits of scrap at the moment, and that's what you can use to do upgrades. 
although you can see the cost of the upgrades like the cheapest upgrade is 15 to increase my engines 25 35 just wondering if there is anything you can also use scrap to um, actually increase your react uh, your reactor power but I don't have enough this is where I can get crew details and equipment once I start salvaging stuff so I've got three people um, Aeron's gonna be the pilot uh, Minion is gonna be on weapons control detail most of the time and Notch can run the shields and I'll move people move people around if necessary. Now it takes three energy to run all my weaponry unfortunately. So let's power those up. This way they'll be fully charged when a combat starts. I don't think they will depower during a jump but I could be wrong. Doesn't mean I don't have any spare power at the moment. Um, I could take the power away from the med bay and add that to the engines. I think um, having maximum engines means I'm going to be better at dodging. But I'll have to remember that if someone is wounded and I send them to the med bay, I'm going to have to repower that. That's it, really. To start off with, I've got... Um, what is that? Uh, enough fuel for 16 FTL jumps, and I've only got 8 missiles. So I'm going to have to watch that. Right, jump. I want to go somewhere with lots of options coming off of it, so I need, I need to get to the exit before this... There's going to be a spaceship fleet chasing me from the left. So let's just go there. Yeah. Ping. Okay, upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. Alright, this is a pirate ship. Um, not much hull, only one one level of shields. I can't actually pay their toll anyway, so let's reject their offer and commence battle. So, burst laser, target their shields. Come on. I'm going to throw in a single missile as well, just to damage their shields as best as I can. Do I have to do that every time? Whoa! Let's fire one more missile. Okay, their shields are almost down. Uh, notch, go repair that. Come on. Shoot! Okay, that's blown them up. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful material. 16 scrap, 2 missiles, 3 fuel. Okay, so I think I got back the um, the missiles I used, which is good. I've got a little more scrap. So, I don't know if I can do anything about this room. Okay, the O2 is, is repaired. If I open that door... Hmm. I'm not sure, sure, sure there's anything I can do about that. What I need is to find somewhere to put in repairs. All right. You go back to the shields. Anyone build up any skills? Yep, Minion's built up a little bit of shooting ability. Uh, Notch has built up some repair and shields. You see, if you look closely, if it shows up in your resolution, there's a little tiny green sliver. Okay, and Aeron didn't do much there. Okay, Notch is actually wounded, so let's send him to the med bay. And Aeron and him are fine, okay. Okay, I've got to investigate this auto fire. Toggle to activate, deactivate weapons automatically firing. Left control plus aim can force a weapon to do the opposite of the current setting, okay. This is why I think they weren't continuing to shoot at the same targets, so... I want that on. Uh, both weapons are up and primed. 26... No, okay, I didn't get any up uh, equipment. Okay, it costs 20 to give myself extra power. 
but also blast doors. Um, upgrades to blast doors that impede fire spread and intruder movement. Um, I read somewhere that this is a very good thing. Basically, someone left a comment, so... I don't think I can actually repair my hull. So I am actually going to improve my doors. Right. Let's find out where we can go next. Um, we can head down there. There. This well, this is going to get us closer to the exit. So that was a tougher fight that, uh, than I was expecting. Ooh, a close assault ship. Relationship neutral. An automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. Okay, intervene to defend the outpost. Right, powering up. Missed. I didn't. Oh, what's going on here? Um. Okay. Ah. Damage. Um, I'm not quite sure what's going on. Okay, you can pause the game. Must remember I can pause pause the game. Right. So for some reason there wasn't enough energy come in there. Shield status. Was that because he... I don't actually appear to have an energy plant. Right, I don't have any shields, so I definitely want him to keep working there. Ooh. Look, <laughs> look what's going on here. Aeron is taking quite a bit of damage, and this and this room appears to appears to be on fire. Um, let's engines partially damaged. Now I'm gonna send send him to help boost the shields, and hopefully Aeron will be able to keep fighting that off. If not, I'm gonna get ready to pull him out. So I'm sort of watching his health. Okay, took out the enemy. Get one missile, one drone part, and some scrap. The outpost hails you um, after the scout was destroyed. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed non stop by those scouts. Take this on the house. Um, a big load of scrap. Okay. Let's get everything going. Okay. I, th I think that's just ju just because those those systems were damaged. Now the O2 is quite bad, so let's get someone working on that. Uh, why don't you help repair the? Actually, it doesn't need repairing, does it? Go to the med bay. Yeah, and Aeron can go to the med bay. Minion can repair that. I should be specialising the tasks, actually. Notch, would you repair that? Minion, just go heal yourself. Hmm. So I kind of want Minion to be my weapons dude and Notch to be, like, my all-round mechanic. Uh, Aeron. Back to the pilot seat. You're getting a little bit better at piloting. Okay, all systems are go. Alright, let me see if I can... There you go. I'm going to upgrade my ship's power ability. So I can have my med bay and my engines on full. Okay, everyone busy? Ship's okay, apart from that. Whatever that is, basically, I think I've got a hull leak. You know, there's a um, that's that's venting to space. And that doesn't appear to be a way to fix it. Number of drone parts. Using a drone consumes one drone part. Well, I don't have any drones. I don't think. Close all doors in the ship. Open all doors in the ship. Interesting. OK, 
Okay, let us... I'm still not sure whether this auto-fire thing was actually working or not. Hmm. Jump. Oh, there's a distress call here. So someone, need, someone needs my help. So Our hull is getting very low. Okay, you follow the distress beacon to a small asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver f through the field. They message you, help, our shields are down, and I don't know how much longer we can last. Right, try to shield their ship with yours and escort them out of the field. Despite your best efforts, the civilian ship breaks apart from the constant barrage. You are barely able to break out of the asteroid field yourself. The ship sustains some damage in the process. Okay, that gave me another 10 scrap, but... <laughs> I'm almost dead. Is there some way I can repair my hull? There doesn't appear to be. Hmm, I could improve my engines. Um, which, would, which would increase my ability to dodge. That might be a good idea at this stage. So once again, we're down to doing that. So my current evasion chance, if you see here, it says 20%. Oxygen's only 94%, probably because of that 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 hole in the ship. <laughs> okay, oh. Okay, that was the distress I failed to help. You can see here the warning. This is the the enemy fleet coming in. Let's head for this distress call and then we can swing up to the exit. <laughs> Right. Hello, we used our last FTL fuel to jump to this station. They indicate a burnt-out husk of debris and warped metal. As you can see, the war must have spread to this sector. We've been stranded ever since. Ooh, I've got to give them four fuel? Hmm. Federation scout ship neutral. Um, yeah, I can't just leave them here to die. So, you give them the fuel. Thank you so much. We don't have much to offer, but have a look at the sector scans we took. My map is updated. Okay. That's quite nice of them. So, ooh. Alright, what's this? Possible ship detected, possible ship detected, possible ship detected. Beacon coordinates appear to be very close to a nearby sun. Possible ship detected. The nebula here will make fleet pursuit slower but will disrupt your sensors. The nebula here will make fleet pursuit slower but will disrupt your sensors. Uh, this section of the nebula is experiencing an ion storm. Okay. Oh, there's a, there's a shop there. Reported merchant location. Well, I've got some time, so let's head there and then we'll head to the store. So don't... Th A Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. Okay, send an away party to investigate. You find a secret Federation outpost, but it appears the rebels have found it before you. The place is empty and faint bloodstains could be seen in the living quarters. You find the encrypted signal emitter and shut it off before leaving. Okay. Ah, my weapons do depower every time I jump somewhere. I should try and upgrade grade my shields, shouldn't I? Right. Jump. Let's head for this shop. Although I don't think I've got much much to trade, unfortunately. Only four scrap. Space station here is a travelling merchant who shows you his wares. Uh, FTL fuel. Missile ammo. Drone parts. Cloaking vessel. Hmm. Adding 60 to your evasion and preventing the enemy ship from locking on. Interesting. Crew teleporter. Send your crew members to board enemy vessels. Nice. Okay, I can fix two hull points. That's it. <laughs> Better than nothing, though. Okay. Um, there's another store there. But I don't... I 
don't think it's going to help because you know I don't I don't I don't have anything to trade. So let's head for the exit beacon. You arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Despite the barren area, a trader has set up shop in this beacon area. He represents his aura, um, his offer. Um, ten fuel for two drone parts. That's worth it. Because I thought, you know, if I get, you know, if I'm out of fuel, I'm stranded in space. What's the point of that? Okay. Well, I think that's it for this episode. I've made it to the end of the sector. We'll have to see what the um, what the next sector brings. Will the Liberator, with its smashed up leaky hull, be able to survive much longer? I doubt it. But I'll see you then. Bye-bye.